Okay, this is this is a, a second version. I'm gonna see if I can be a little more, a bit, little bit more condensed in this. Our existential condition, our existential condition on this world, is to survive, right? Um, and so, we um, human beings have an intelligence that produces um, a capacity to take care of ourselves in a way uh, that no animal does. We have an intelligence that thinks in sort of a logical engineering kind of way. We can immediately understand nature in ways that we calculate and we build shelter and we do our uh, agriculture and uh, vehicles, right? Uh, and it all has to do with needs that have been uh, exponentially, uh, exp exponentially increased compared to animals. Like every animal wants to get from one tree to the other, but our intelligence is such that we design, we engineered a concord to get from one tree to another. So, if you can identify this capacity of human beings as our unique intelligence, and then think that also this capacity mankind has is not harmonious with the totality of nature of which we are a part of as well. And so we prove, this is verified or proven because we think very quickly, very ambitiously, uh, very um, rudely, very uh, brashly, we want, we want to have, we want to produce, we want to, um, we think of it, it's maybe governed by a little bit of the individualistic part of, 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 the, of this uh, collective intelligence that we're talking about. And so we, our sciences, this, this kind of intelligence of ours has proven to fail, has proven to end up hurting us. We invent weapons and then we end up killing our own babies. We invent vaccines that end up hurting us sometimes. Or the research, or we hurt other life in 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 in, in the um, in, in the ambitious pursuit of our sciences. We end up uh, contaminating the planet. Um, it's it it doesn't serve life and creation. It hurts ourselves. Our buildings collapse. Our the the result of this intelligence. Um, well, you know, it's been said in a bunch of different ways. Uh, the one sh the one constant is that. Science will be wrong, and you know whatever. There's a whole bunch of um, philosoph not philosophical, but you know wise um, notions to this effect. So, also, also pushed by the forces of uh, survival and being good to ourselves, because ultimately, ultimately, our governing force is good. We want to be well, be healthy and uh, be well with the whole collective. The governing force is collective, is joining, is uh, cohesion of the, of, we are first a collective, we are first a, a, a plurality, um, all of nature, every single being. It could not be uh, a forest of trees if the evolutionary mind of that species did not first care about the forest before it preserves the individual tree. We are the same. We, um, we talk a lot about individualism, but are, um, ultimately we prove to be unhappy and start having all sorts of psychological problems when we're rejected, when we're separated, when we, have, when we don't feel we belong, we have psychological problems and we start having worse dysfunctions. And, so the collective is the most important thing for the mind because it is a species and this is what life does. So, um, as uh, we realize, we see that our own precociousness uh, fails and this intelligence that, I ref that I'm referring to um, ends up harming us. The same, the same intelligence it's not. It's it's sort of a different area of human intelligence, 
but let's call it a different intelligence, although it's ultimately about the singular survival of the species. But let's call it a different intelligence. Another part of our reasoning starts saying, well, you know, all this ability that I have to, to invent, to build, to construct, uh, to build Concorde airplanes and so forth, seems to, you know, hurting somebody or killing somebody or or I, it's all of a sudden I realize it's too heavy and it's pointless and it just doesn't. So there's another part that because it wants to be healthy and happy and harmonious and together in the collective as its priority, um, starts thinking in terms of how we, th how we think, how we behave, how we reason through our wisdom. And so this is an esoteric part of um, of our intelligence towards survival develops. And so this is why I'm saying that in this other area, religion arises, morality, and other, other human sciences too. The human science of psychology, um, the, the, the whole school of thought of ethical values and, and civil principles, uh, th these all come from the same area that is not the physical build and you know get that um, um, working system administrative or building uh, project done it's it has to do more with how we do that with how we do it and how we treat ourselves and this is where religion this is why religion arises as a necessity to sort of atone to calm us down or to sort of uh, now this is a very secular way of understanding why religion emerges and why it is necessary. Compared to what we today in the world have known and by which we describe religion doesn't seem to uh, speak much of that. It seems to be very selfish, very self-preserving very unaware of what we end up doing in society and what young folks end up doing in culture anyways. It doesn't seem to be very harmonized um, with society. But precisely, as we're evolving, as humanity progresses, perhaps the day is coming where we realize that we were the ones making religion. It wasn't hit, given to us with a lightning bolt from the sky. It was actually us. Um, and actually there is scripture that would you know go to this as well uh, when we finally um, uh, align things and we see that religion was a necessary house of wisdom so that we can then manage and guide our our rational physical engineering uh, administrative intelligence uh, ruling our ruling intelligence our governing intelligence uh, guide it and not hurt each other, uh, take care of the species as a whole, uh, not separate and uh, give more advantage or gains and um, uh, benefits to one, some of us over others, and we truly uh, see that it was necessary to guide the species, maybe a new school of thought and new religions, new religious principles uh, will arise and, and perhaps we'll find a way of, of realizing that God was never out of the equation even then even then it's still greater than all of this watching us uh, uh, discover that it was okay to own the creation of religion that he was waiting God our creators or God uh, the whatever it is or the nothingness was waiting for us to be able to do this. So this is an explanation of the place, uh, a way of understanding why religion exists as well. That's a lot better, that's only nine minutes.